if you guys have never printed on aprons before, quite frankly, to be honest, it's just like printing on t-shirts, but you do have to be careful. There are some little tiny details that you have to pay attention to in order to make sure that you have a good print and to be able to print flash print without having any nasty, ugly residue on the backside of the apron. So the first thing we did is just uh, we burned the screen on a 160 like we normally would for this design if it was gonna go on t-shirts. Then after that, we came over here to debag these because they were individually bagged, very annoyingly. And then we came to set up our screen on the machine like we normally would. And once we had it set up, to make sure that we were gonna have the print on the same location on all our boards, what we did is we used a reference point from the apron. So before we had ink on the screen, you know, we had it down and I can move around the apron and kind of see that silhouette. And that gives us like a pretty, a pretty good reference point of where the print is gonna be. And we figured that once we have this stitching lined up with the top of the board, it gives us this location, which I'm pretty happy with. And that is gonna be the same for all of them. So right after that, we make sure that we had fresh palette peel because we don't have, we don't wanna have any bumps from lint on previous prints from other odors or whatever. So we make sure that the palette peel was clean. We changed it and we use the uh, liquid adhesive. We're not using 375 because with 375, sometimes you have that like uh, spray adhesive stick to the backside of the apron and it just looks dirty. You don't wanna be explaining that to your customers. So you might as well have a clean print and with the liquid adhesive, you're gonna achieve that. So once you have that, make sure you warm up your palettes and then the print flash print is gonna be a quick one. It doesn't take as long as it does for a t-shirt. So if you have it under for too long, it can move on you. It it can burn if you're not careful, so make sure that you have the correct distance apart and make sure that you're not taking a long time to print flash print so you can move along and not burn your apron. I think that's it for the press, not for the curing. All we did was keep our temperature like we normally do and we sped the belt to our bandana setting because these aprons, they tend to retain a lot of heat and as they, walk, as they go through the dryer, they just get hotter and hotter. So we figured that at the uh, bandana setting, which basically just means speeding up the belt, uh, makes the apron come out or the ink come out at 320 degrees, which is curing temperature for plastisol. And that is not gonna crack on the apron, just so you guys know, so you don't need a special ink. All we do is print, uh, all we did was use the maximum white, which is what we use for our 50-50s and our 100% cotton t-shirts and and that's really it so nothing crazy but you do have to make sure that you pay attention to those details your glue make sure you change your palette peel your flash uh, burn it on whatever screen you need to depending on how detailed your image is and speed up your belt or if you're curing with your flash once you're done make sure you raise it a little bit more and you give it the right time so that it cures and it doesn't crack on you so that's it I really hope that you guys learned something today um, first time printing aprons here at the shop. I've done it many, many times before, and I'm excited to do it. They brought them yesterday. I had the artwork. They brought the aprons. We're not that busy, so we're going to knock them out. They're going to be very happy, and we're going to call it a day. So remember to subscribe if you haven't. Go ahead and like the video. Share the video if you think it's going to help a fellow screen printer. And I'm going to take this off because it's really hot in here. And tomorrow, they predict that it's going to be 112 here. So. All right, so just in case you were wondering why we were talking about setting the apron, why we were setting the flash a little bit further away from the palette, that's just so that it gives us time to load the apron. Make sure that we bring up our strings so they're not dragging the floor. You can do two or three strokes, whatever it takes to clear the screen. Uh, Got a little bit of lint on there. So we have, we have our apron sitting under the flash over there while we printed that one. We bring the next one out. This one comes dry. So all we have to do is print on it. 
throw it down the dryer. Grab the next one and keep going. So this should be a continuous print until you're finished. There is no reason why you're going to load four aprons, print the aprons, and then pull them out. This is really the main reason why you have your flash a little bit further apart from the pallet so that it doesn't burn your apron. And it gives you enough time to print this one, pull it out, load the next one, print it, and keep going until you're finished. So, if you hired a printer and you see them doing four at a time and you keep telling them how to do it and he's not listening, you can either show him how to do it or you can fire them or yourself if you're pulling out the four aprons. But this is just a way faster method on how to print anything pretty much. So whenever you're print flash printing, this is really the trick to not stop. So if you're one of those persons who likes to load four t-shirts or four aprons, print them and then pull them out, then that's probably why it's taking you forever to get your orders out. We just started this one and we're almost done. It's 30 pieces, but we print and we go. This one already flashed, so we're gonna print, flash, print it. And we go. So there's no, no residue on the back because we use the uh, liquid adhesive. And that's really the trick that a lot of people are afraid of doing because they think they're gonna burn their items. But all you really have to do is set that flash a little bit further apart from your board. Very, very simple. I didn't mean for this video to be longer than like five minutes, but I wanted to show you guys that this works. So this is just a straight shot without editing. So I can show you guys that I'm not lying about taking four out and putting four back in. So this way you're not afraid of print flash printing. And that's gonna be it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys learned something. Uh, don't be afraid to just keep going whenever you're printing. Uh, this works for t-shirts as well. So like I said, all you have to do is, and this is the, the main thing. Once your boards get warmed up and your flash is uh, far apart, they'll dry a lot faster. So don't be afraid to just even go a little bit further. Because the longer you take here, you know, the further apart it has to be from the board over there. That's it. Done for today. Thank you guys for watching. Just gonna grab a random one here to show you the backside. Clean, no glue.